So here's the help dialog and it clearly explains each of the various buttons and how to use the program. Okay, so there are the plus one, plus seven, minus one, and minus seven buttons for changing the date. Plus seven adds seven days, or one exactly one week. Plus one adds one day, and those also do the respective date changes. Okay, so right now it's set to the current date. For instance, if I add a week and press jump, clearly explains what format the dates must be in, but if you don't type anything and press OK, it resets back to today's date. You can also set exactly which day you want to go to. For instance, September 9th, 2013. And you can see that it works. So you can add a new class with the new class button. For instance, I can set my zero period to calc. And you can see it shows up on the main screen. You can add new homework with the new homework button. For instance, to my zero period, I can add pages one through five. And you can see it shows on the main screen. Okay, so I currently have my zero period class set to calc and I've added an assignment, pages one through five. So if I exit out of this app, back to the home screen, and I open the app again, you can see that on the main screen my class and assignments are still there, showing persistence of the data. Okay, so for invalid input, for the new class button, if I hit the new class button and I do not provide any text, it doesn't do anything. If I, for instance, put just zero, it will tell me that there is an error. Or if I put zero space calc, also tell me that there is an error because there is no colon, which is a separator. If I try to do period eight, It will give me an error, and so on. The new homework button functions in the same way. If I hit new homework and give empty input, no response, new homework, and enter eight, and attempt to enter something, it gives me an error. so on. If I hit the jump button and attempt to provide invalid input, oh of course you'll notice that the empty input resets to today's date, but if you attempt to input something invalid, like September 42nd, 2012, it will tell you that the month, day, or year is out of bounds. Or if you use non number characters, also give you an error, etc.